Hey guys, we're going to talk about one of my friends who sold his car for magic cards. Yes, Magic the Gathering cards. He sold his 1999 Honda, no, Hyundai, no, Honda Accord or Hyundai Accord, hold on. Whatever it was, he sold his car, or I guess he traded his car away from Magic cards. Magic the Gathering cards, in particular, he showed the card away, or traded it away. Uh, there was some cash involved, I'm not exactly sure about the details, I'll get it later. And the, <laughs> the deck that he won, he traded, the deck that he got in return, and then some cash on, he received some cash, but not like a whole lot, I think it was like $50 for an entire car with a modern deck, Splinter Twin. And that just shows you how expensive these decks are. That a Splinter Twin deck, I mean, it does have four snaps, it did, does have four tarns, it does have four Splinter Twins, and I mean, it's a complete Splinter Twin deck. And online, it costs about, like, or on paper, it costs a thousand, maybe twelve hundred dollars. Well, he sold his car for that amount, and then, like, maybe a hundred and fifty dollars in cash. The car was obviously a little bit damaged, um, it wasn't like the newest car, it was 1998 or 1999. And it's just still so uh, shocking to me that you would sell a car or you trade a car or however it went down, you could, a car for a magic cards, right? And that's just where we are right now. It's The game is so expensive. Um, he did purchase a new car, but the trade-in value was actually less and um, it did have some problems with the tires, um, and I think something problem with the check engine light. So it wasn't the perfect car, but at the same time, uh, it's still like the Magic the Gathering cards are so valuable nowadays, um, and it does run, and the person he traded it for was also another local member who I, I'm not familiar with him. I don't talk with him a lot, but he does show up to Friday Night Magic almost every time I'm there, and he just needed a you know, the cheapest car possible to get to uh, work. And it's a very interesting story. I mean, you never would imagine that uh, you could trade cardboard for a moving machine. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? But that's how expensive modern decks are nowadays. And I have another story for you guys later, uh, which is a, a dude who always comes to me right now, right now it's right before the beginning, so when I'm making this video, it's the Sunday or Saturday before my birthday, Wednesday, but anyway, where people who play Magic, a lot of their money is invested in Magic the Gathering cards, and it's actually quite liquid. The fact that you can trade cards for even an automobile is speaks volumes about how people treat magic as money and also stealing, right? People steal magic cards all the time. I mean, there's not really any large event you hear about this stolen deck or that stolen deck on Reddit. And it's because magic is kind of like money. It just is like money and you don't realize it until A, your cards are stolen and you have to repurchase those cards or B, you could do something like trade your magic the gathering collection or trade a deck for an entire used automobile. A very interesting story. I will get you a little bit more. Uh, if he's not too shy, I'll get him to uh, go on camera with me. Um, I don't know, it's hard to get like my friends to go on camera with me because like, the camera's at home and then they have to come over. And when we come over, we're mostly just drinking. So it's not like... <laughs> Sometimes I make videos and I look, I, I don't, I don't do this often, but sometimes I'll look at the video and I never, like, whenever I make a video, it's not like I keep the video. Like, I, when I look at a video, I don't really want to keep it, especially when you're drinking. Um, at home, which is safe, and we always take Uber, so don't worry about us. Uh, so, yeah, Magic the Gathering. Bye, guys.